What is up guys? We're gonna start this vlog off um, behind people that's too scary to pull out with traffic at a stop sign. You know, the usual. But anyway, it's uh, actually decent outside today. It has been uh, freaking freezing lately and I haven't rode since the last vlog. So yeah, we need gas. Cause you know, when I ended it, <clears throat> my gas light came on. Um, hey, another motorcycle. Hey guy. Um, anyway, I kind of have some decent news. Um, last I heard, the skyline, the body was painted. Nothing else, not the bumpers, not the arrow, not, none of that fun stuff. But supposedly, that stuff's gonna be painted tomorrow. And then the car is going to be polished and all that fun stuff. So hopefully I'll have it back by the end of this week. Freaking hope so. It's been entirely too long. I think we're going on five months now. So yeah, I'm ready to have my freaking car back. And then when I get it back, first thing I go do is change my freaking oil. And after I do that, I got to put my coilovers on. I got to put my wheels on. And then uh, she'll be done for a while anyway. You know how that goes. Like, I mean, you get a car done, but then it's never really done when you're a car guy. You gotta keep doing stuff to it, you know? It's still really freaking cold out. And this might actually be my uh, last vlog for a minute because it's supposed to get down to like 12 this week. And I am freaking dreading it. Like 12, really? Freaking 12? Like, bro, I would freaking die like straight up I will die that's how you cut through that shit yeah anyway what I was saying it's supposed to be down to 12 and that means it's gonna be cold as shit like all freaking week and whatnot and I'm not about it so when it warms back up yeah, if it doesn't get warm before I get to Skyline, I'll probably just record getting a Skyline or something so you guys at least have something to watch. But uh, I'm gonna pump this gas really quick. Oh my gosh, that mattress smells like straight up nasty body odor and sweat. There's like a breeze blowing. I didn't smell shit till I got behind that truck. But anyway, we got gas now and we're gonna hop on the interstate because my dad just texted me and he asked for some help with his uh, garage door. So I'm gonna go help him with his garage door and that's going to be that um probably won't have much footage on the interstate because you know how the wind is on the interstate and it's a, a real windy out today so you know what it does to my mic i don't know why but it does so we're just going to wing it why why are we stopping like you literally have the right away they have to yield like gosh i swear these freaking drivers look at that there's a yield sign right there like uh i just can't people so at some point today, we'll probably end up riding the R32 because it hasn't been rode in a minute. And it needs to be rode. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The R3 hasn't been rode since uh, that last Dragon trip. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want it to fall out of the loop, so I'm going to have to ride it. I haven't even started it in a while, so... I need to ride the R3 at some point today after I get the uh, R1 back, but depending on how long all this takes, it might be dark by the time I get back home. We'll see. Either way, I'm gonna ride the R3. Oh, uh, I've got the right away, guys. I don't have a stop sign. There's no stop sign over there. Okay, that guy's been sitting at that red light for since I've been back there. Like, is he scared to pull out? Because the signal's on to go right. Oh, I'm not gonna get behind this pansy. Later, pansy pants. There is a big ass dog in the back of that van and he's barking at me. He is not happy. He's like, there's a pumpkin head man behind us. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. She's like, Scooby, shut the hell up. He looks like Scooby Doo. Except he's got some white on him. This dog is like, mom, mom, he's chasing us. Mom, he's still behind us. Oh no, bark, 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 bark. What do we do? Poor puppy. I mean no harm. I would pet you if I could. You're just such a pretty pupper. Whoa there. Yee yee boy, get it. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh boy, he was drifting in his yard in his little truck. I can't. That was funny. Hey, you gotta, you, you gotta play whenever you can. 
at first I was like, what in the hell? And then I was like, oh, he's playing in his yard because fuck it, who needs a nice yard, right? If it was up to me, I would just pave my yard if I had enough money. Well, I was moving good till I got behind grandma, grandpa, whatever. I got, I got impatient, I couldn't wait any longer. Which I only waited about 10 seconds, but that's beside the point. I know, I know. Justin, why are you riding so fast? Well, I really, really, really gotta pee. And the R1 is really, really stiff. So every single indention I hit in the road, it jars my bladder. And my bladder is not a very happy camper right now. So I'm trying to uh, evacuate the premises of my <laughs> bladder <laughs> real quick. Well, as quick as I can. All the little puppies trying to chase me. Cute little dumb dogs. I'm not gonna lie, ankle biter dogs get on my freaking nerves. All they ever do is, yep, 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 yep. I'm like, oh my God, shut up. And they always like gnaw at your ankles and you just wanna like football punt them across the room, but you're like, nah, I can't, that's animal cruelty. That's so mean, but they're really, really, really annoying. Am I right or am I right? Because if I'm wrong, I'm still right. Because if I'm right, then I could have been right because I was wrong. Then if I was wrong, there's still a possibility that I'm just fucking with you. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Can you not like keep that thing like on the road guy? Like, it's just, just an assumption. It's not that big of a truck. I mean, it's a pretty big road too. So the fact that you can't keep it in your lane on a straightaway leads me to believe you either A, can't drive or B, you're on your phone texting or messing with the radio or doing something you shouldn't be doing. I mean, what the fuck guy? Oh. Like, I just want to, like, slow way down because if this dude hits somebody, <laughs> I'm going to get hit too. You know what I mean? People. People, people, people. You know, the day that I can go ride and not see one dumb thing. You know what? I will take one dumb thing. If I can just go ride for one day and see one dumb thing happen, I'll be happy. But it's like, there's just idiots. Idiots everywhere. I, I don't get it, guy. You're mowing, but we've got, like... Like, it's supposed to snow this week. Why, well, how are you mowing? I'm just confused. Like, if you mow your yard and you cut it short, then when the really, really cold weather hits this week, you're not gonna have much of a yard. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know how grass grows. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm probably just an idiot. That's, that's it. You know, it's funny now because every time I see a train track or something where I have to watch these little learning kids musical thingies and like baby songs now since you know she's in that stage every time i see a train track now i'm like choo choo train chugga chugga choo choo yeah it's a kid song something like that there's so many like kid songs now that get stuck in my freaking head it's ridiculous i never really i don't know it's funny because you know i usually have some kind of song in my head but now where I've heard so many baby songs, I'll freaking be sleeping, I'll be on the toilet, anywhere I am, no matter what I'm doing, I'm singing some kind of baby song in my head. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. Well, it looks like we're about to run up on top of another motorcycle. What do you know? And I'm just cruising. Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm cruising pretty briskly fast, but... Dang, homeboy ain't even made it to the corner yet. Fuck me all up. Dang, he like, wow. Jeez, bro, come on now. Like 30? Really? The speed limit's like 40. What is that on your back? All right, dude, 27? Okay, are you like... I normally don't get past like other riders, but I might have to pass this guy. I don't understand what he's doing. And he's swerving all over the freak. What the hell are you doing, guy? Like, are you, what the fuck? You, you gotta see this, right? Like he's yellow line and everything. Are you like a new motorcycle rider or something? Like. <laughs> Bro, you're making me nervous. <laughs> I mean, we can at least do the speed limit. Come on. What, what's... What's...
what's going on is your bike broke are you scared is it too cold for you i'm just really confused as to what's going on starting to hold up traffic people are catching back up to me my boy be doing 27 miles an hour like what in tarnation I, I don't get it if you can at least do the speed limit you shouldn't be on a bike buddy wow a two-tone camaro just when i thought your v6 couldn't get any lamer it just did you know what really grinds my gears i'll tell you in case you were wondering <laughs> anyway what really grinds my gears is people's already talking about freaking christmas time and people's already putting out the freaking christmas trees and their christmas decorations and i'm like do we just like skip thanksgiving or something because <laughs> i like to eat like we can't just skip thanksgiving you know what i mean and you know all these people that's already talking about christmas i really really hope that when thanksgiving comes around they don't be posting pictures of their freaking food because in my mind y'all skipping thanksgiving okay y'all too worried about christmas y'all don't even need to worry about thanksgiving okay that's my time y'all can go skedaddle around your christmas tree and wrap all your gifts but don't you dare sit down and be thankful for anything and eat some food with your fam bam because you, you, you're skipping it apparently all right that was a little harsh okay you don't have to skip it just acknowledge it okay like come on now like oh my god christmas is right around the corner <laughs> yeah but thanksgiving's even closer you know what i mean you know what i'm saying y you catch my drift i'm just like it's like people just forget about thanksgiving <laughs> and i i love me some deviled eggs and some freaking chicken and some freaking baked beans and i just love food okay let's, let's just leave it at that people's just like oh my god christmas I get new Ugg boots and crop tops for next spring and oh my god yay pumpkin spice latte oh wait this one goes straight whoops see i don't even know what i'm doing right now we'll get behind the ambulance the ambulance why is his signals like all lit up that's different like i'm confused see like his signals aren't is that normal like but they're not on like they're not blinking but they're on they're like lit up you know what i mean weird oh uh, okay i uh, guess they come on with his brake lights that's different <laughs> i think somebody cross-wired something wrong in that bad boy see they came back on with a brake light i mean maybe it's just to get your attention i i don't know maybe i've just never noticed it before it's just weird I don't understand why your signal lights would come on with your brake lights. See, I, I, I don't know. Oh, hello. You look good. The, the Corvette, not the dude driving it, alright? <laughs> you know what sucks? I just washed the R1 and uh, R3 and the BMW yesterday. It was freaking cold outside. Like, the wind was just ridiculous. And I was like... <laughs> You know, this might be my last day to actually clean all the vehicles right now. So I went ahead and cleaned them, right? And then I ride this thing down the road, and I, you would think, as being cold as it's being as cold as it is, there wouldn't be that many bugs out. But uh, guess what? You'd be thinking uh, wrong. There's still so many bugs out. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating. Uh, yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit. There's not that many. But still, it was clean. It's okay. I'll just take some quick detailer and uh, wipe her down really quick. Good to go. Acura, chugga chugga choo choo. Acura, you're going so freaking slow. Acura. Okay. <laughs> My bad, guys. I apologize for that. I'm sure it burns your ears a little bit. And we're back. We're on the R3, obviously, you know. So, you know, I actually slept decent for the first time in a long time the other day because. I know I talked about it when I first got on the R1 earlier, but the skyline, how the body's actually faded. So this shop that it was at was supposedly like going out of business. And like I said before, my car was completely disassembled. No windshield, no tail lights, bumper, ev literally door handles, everything that you can take off a car, it was off the car, right? And it was completely sanded down and butchered up and just, oh, uh, okay. And so I was, actually thinking that i was gonna have to pull my car out 
and somehow gather up all my stuff and take it to another shop right well i've been stressing out about it and the guy that owns the shop keeps saying oh i'll have it done next week oh i'll have it done next week oh i'll have it done next week my patience was really 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 running thin right and finally it gets painted well the body got painted and you know i was stressing out it was never gonna freaking get painted which i mean it's been five freaking months four yeah five yeah five way too freaking long considering when i took it there they said oh we're not gonna have it for any more than two months i promise okay yep yeah that was a fucking lie obviously so i've been like yanked around this entire friggin' time which it irks me a crap ton but um ah oh, gosh what was i saying yeah it's just like seeing it actually getting painted it just kind of like put my mind at ease a little bit you know so i actually got a little bit of freaking sleep in like it, it's crazy how stuff like that keeps me up at night you know but like that was my dream car and then it all got torn apart to get painted and pretty much ruined like it was a drivable and really nice car i just wanted it repainted to be perfect and that was the only reason they had it and you know that happened so it kind of really irked me you know which i mean if anybody else has been in my position you know exactly what i'm talking about but it sucks it really sucks that you know people that somehow manage to own a freaking business they can't run it properly they can't manage their money properly it's like i i, I, don't, I don't know there i go on a freaking rant about it again you know but i just i just really hope that they stick to their word and tomorrow uh all the arrow and bumper pieces and stuff will be painted and then uh it'll be polished hopefully and then that way this week it'll be start being put together and <laughs> maybe my wife can leave work early because see i would i would ride during the week when the sun's out even though it's cold fun fact but um See, she doesn't get off work till 5. So she doesn't get home till about 5.30, 5.45 because of traffic and whatnot. Well, time change, by the time she gets home, it's freaking dark outside. So it means the temperature drops even further and, you know, it's too cold to freaking ride. And, you know, you know how that goes. But, you know, I, anytime that it's rideable outside, I'm, I'm going to go ride and make you guys a video. But anyway, back to the topic. Maybe I can talk her into getting off work a little bit early or something so when it's actually fully painted and polished and all that fun stuff i'll go down there and help put the damn thing back together so i can have my freaking car back you know what i mean like it's been entirely too long and i'm i'm really 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 pissy and i've had my wife call and talk to the guy see when it's going to be done and stuff you know because i'm i'm really short tempered when it comes to my car and how much i've been yanked around and so I just don't want to say the wrong thing, you know, considering my car's there and, you know, I know it's a place of business, but, you know, considering how they've yanked me around already, I don't want, you know, them to pour like sugar or some shit in my gas tank or, you know, in my oil. It's just that people are like that and it sucks. And it, it just, uh, it's, it sucks though. Like I, I want to say so much to them and really tell them how I think about it, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll pick up my freaking car. Once I pick up my car, <laughs> bye Felicia. And that's how that freaking cookie's gonna crumble, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I said earlier that when I pick it up, I will make a video of picking up the car if it's been like too cold to ride, which like I said, it's supposed to freaking snow in a couple days. So <laughs> it's gonna be up real cold. So maybe I can uh, get a skyline video in for you guys if you guys are interested. If not, then you know, whatever. Oh, in one of my videos, I was talking about that Asia cafe that me and my wife went to that everybody was like ranting about or whatever. Well, it was actually on the freaking news or whatever about their freaking food score. It was so freaking like low. They had like some kind of like cleaner beside food or something like that. And they had like dirty silverware or, you know, forks, knives, spoons, whatever that was in the clean section that hadn't even been freaking washed. So people would ate off this shit and they just put it back in there to give it to other people. Like, what the hell? So, uh, needless to say, I will never, ever, ever, ever be going back to that place. I was thinking about giving it an extra chance, 
because she likes sushi and the best sushi place around us is you know a pretty good drive and because we have you know the precious little baby i don't want to go too far out of the way and then sit down and you know it, you know what i'm trying to say here but it's just pretty much right down the road for the most part so i was thinking about giving it another try just so she could get her some sushi but yeah that's that's not happening I'll, i won't be caught dead in there the only way i will be caught there is if i am dead so yeah somebody have to kill me drag me in there and that would be the only way you can get me back in asia cafe yeah Dallas, so we do food reviews on my channel now just kidding we don't we totally don't it was just something i had to uh i just thought about it since it was right down the road so i figured i would rant about it a little bit all righty guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here it was just a quick ride because the sun's going in and it's getting too cold for my pansy ass and i'm like super freaking hungry so i'm gonna see uh what we can whip up for dinner and uh yeah eat me some food i think we got some sweet potatoes so i'm definitely gonna freaking fix me a freaking sweet potato because i love sweet potatoes fun fact but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>